Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and do some like birth supply shopping with you guys. So I just have to pick up a few bits and bobs to prepare for the home bath. And this is just like stuff that our birth team doesn't supply. So yeah, I am going to take you along with me if you enjoy pregnancy and children and mum related content then give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button because we are about to have a baby we are 34 weeks 35 weeks this weekend and i just like feel like i'm running out of time so i'm gonna bring you along with us now. So we're just picking up some towels. These are only $2.50 and if they get ruined, it's all good. Are you excited to print the photos? All right, so we're gonna grab some buckets and chucks pads. So we're back from the shops and I thought I would show you everything that we bought for the um, birth supplies. I picked up these little blue puppy training pads they're super useful for everything <laughs> for catching any messes for blood for fluids just to pop down so things don't get ruined so i did get a 20 pack of these next i picked up two buckets this is for the birth pool and um i just pour, bought a spare anyway they were only a dollar each and um yeah, just in case we need to like drain the pool or something, catch something in the bucket. I then picked up eight of these plain white towels. So these are only $2.50 each and I am going to wash them and dry them. And um, it really doesn't matter if they get ruined. Um, I just picked white ones because again, they were super cheap. So I don't, I don't care if we need to chuck them out afterwards um but if they are saved and we can like bleach them then great because we only use white towels in our house anyway so a few will be for the baby and then a few will be for me and then a few will be for like spills and stuff i also picked up these wipes you never know when you need wipes so next i picked up two of these silver bowls So one of these is meant to go into the toilet to catch the placenta and the other one is going to be by the pool to catch any like bits and bobs that we want to like record with the blood loss monitoring. Oh, I also picked up four of the face washes as well. They match the towels and that's just like for me to use while I'm in labor to like wet on my head and things like that. Lastly, I picked up some pads. So I got the super ultra thin pads and they have like a four star absorbency. I picked up the overnight pads with a five star absorbency. These have wings, they all have wings. And I also picked up these little like panty liners for when labor starts and I just want to track things and see how like the fluid's going. Um, yeah, so that is like the first part that I wanted to show you. So our birth workers will be bringing over some birth supplies as well, which includes like our pool and scales and um, like surgical scissors. So I will show you them as soon as we get them. And hopefully this video will help you with um things that you need for a home birth and yeah it's really exciting things are slowly coming together so woo. hey guys so i said that as soon as the rest of the birth supply would be here i would show you guys so this is the pool and it has the liner which is brand new um the pump the hoses so this particular hose is to get rid of the dirty water and this one down here is a brand new one for clean water and yeah i think in here is like the liner so that's a brand new liner and you get a new one every time you use the pool and then you just chuck it out um 
my doula gave me this Banksia C pod and this is meant to be for squeezing so I don't know if you guys heard of the comb trick but it's meant to help with acupressure this is meant to be amazing because it goes like all around your head we also picked up a few pots from Nonna's house these are 10 litre pots they may be actually a bit bigger but more than 10 litres and that is just in case we need to boil water and um, utilise it if the hot water runs out. This is kind of random but I wanted a candle for the bath so my sister got me this and we're going to light it once I get bath. I also wanted to go through this kit with you guys so um, this is actually my doula's and I'm borrowing it but it has a bunch of goodies from blissful herbs yes yeah, so it has like birth boost tea it has another tea which i think is for labor maybe but yeah so this one is for um sipping throughout labor which is meant to help with contractions and then this one is for endurance stamina and courage during labor so we have a few different tinctures so this is placenta release we also have no bleed tincture shepherd's purse this is like one of the most recommended tinctures and i'm pretty sure this one is for hemorrhaging oh yeah so we also have a little cord tie the only color was coral so it is what it is <laughs> um and then we have birth boost tincture some surgical scissors which are already sterilized and a little clamp which is also sterilized so i wanted to just let you know what some of the tinctures are about so um it has all the different meanings here in this little pamphlet so you can refer back to them um, but this is super handy just to like use as a guide so other than like getting a top and um, a spare sheet set that's pretty much everything that we're going to be using for our buff um, I did want to pick up yeah just like a few things here and there that aren't super necessary but those are like the main things especially the tinctures and the pool and the towels are like the main things um oh we still need to pick up the scale to weigh the baby but um and like the little measurements but other than that that is pretty much everything in our birth supply kit i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up click that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one bye guys